My name is Diogo Freire. I'm a journalist, currently writing for Maratona do Sofá, a Brazilian site focused on movies, TV and games. I'm also a community manager for Super Deluxe Gamescast, commonly known as DGC. For today's side quest, I like to talk about Death Stranding. A quick summary of the plot, before anything. Death Stranding tells the tale of Sam Porter Bridges, a delivery man, also known as a porter, that, despite his current reservations about society and intimacy, is tasked with reconnecting America, devastated by its newfound dangerous and close connection between the world of the living and the dead. Sam must travel throughout the country, while also meeting citizens and making deliveries for them. So, Death Stranding is, for the lack of a better or more descriptive term, fascinating for me. Given that it is a Kojima game, I went in already expecting a crazy or of a complicated story, alongside it and at least good gameplay, which is normally the norm with him. What I ended up getting out of Death Stranding was a mix of Journey and Breath of the Wild. Let me explain. On one side, you have an incredibly fun and satisfying traversal system, with responsive and clear controls and a gameplay loop that, while simple at first, actually provides a lot of options to you until the very end of the game. On paper, it may sound boring just delivering uh, parcels from point A to point B, but it just clicks as you go along with the game. Like Breath of the Wild, there's this notion of just looking at something on the map, sort of understanding what you have to do from the perspective of traversing the world. It's very clear. On the other side, it's the closest a game has ever reached through cooperation for me. While the game is majorly single player, it has an asynchronous multiplayer aspect to it. Later in the game, you'll be able to create structures like bridges, energy generators, or a time for protector that shields you from the dangerous rain of this world that can damage your goods. These constructions are only usable by you. They're available online, and other players can utilize them with the possibility of giving you multiple likes, helping you on the game's progression system that unlocks the possibility for Sam to carry more weight, even if he's using uh, is a power is a skeleton or not. I cannot count the number of times a route of mine went a bit sideways or utterly wrong. In a motorcycle, a structure appeared in the best possible time and helped me achieve my objective. Uh, there's this sense of camaraderie that I have not felt for a long time in gaming, and given the times we're currently living in, also in real life. I feel like a good example of this aspect of cooperation present in the game is when you get together with other players even in this asynchronous manner and you all get together and construct a road because you all need to take specific kind of materials be ceramics metals so that the road may be constructed and it's a lot of materials necessary to do it like you wouldn't be able to do it in one trip or alone so what ends up happening is that, let's say, you're doing a mission and you get a notification that someone out there on the online aspect of the game contributed with a specific quantity of materials. And now you know, and it's very easy to check. You can uh, just pause the game and check how much material is left for the road to be constructed. In a road, when it's finally constructed, it helps so much, like for starters, it's an absolutely safe uh, way to get to wherever you want to go. And secondly, it offers you the possibility of using the max speed of things such as cars, motorcycles, etc. at max speed without uh, consuming their batteries. So there's the sense of helping each other and giving each other a leg up, so to speak. And I didn't even touch the story. It's so elected while providing the common Kojima isms. It's surprisingly touching. Mads Mikkelsen should start on all games, is what I'm saying. So, yes, if you're interested in a unique game or if you have any familiarity with Kojima games, please give Death Strain a chance. To say it's a classic is an understatement. We all need to be the same porter bridges in our lives. Thanks for coming with me on the side quest. Happy gaming! <music>